Hello everyone, it is Artifacts96 back for another video for you guys. Thank you for everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed thus far. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to join the tribe, if you want to join the tribe's peeps, treat peeps with old granny artifacts here. All thing you have to do is hit that subscription button and hit that notification bell. Yes, that is great. Awesome. Thank you for doing that. Really do appreciate you. Now, to give context to what I'm about to talk about, I highly suggest that you check out my last video, which, yeah, YouTube sometimes likes to play tricks on me, sometimes like flips it, and I can't really tell. Anyway, somewhere up there. Now, given the fact that you know how Pierce Morgan, uh, for those who don't know, I will put him right here, uh, right there. Yeah, that's good. Right there. Okay, this fellow right here, this British guy, acted a goddamn baby and acted a fucking fool when it came down to the Meghan Markle situation, even after learning that she suffered from poor mental health after continuously reading negative press about herself, you know, and continuously being attacked in the British tabloids, <clears throat> especially by him because he was at the forefront of that, that she revealed that she had poor mental health. And that was the reason why. Well, he doubled down. And he kept on bashing her. That's what Pierce did. He kept on such on. He kept on bashing her to a point where his co-commentators were like, hey, will you stop that? So when they gave him a little bit of pushback and a young, another young male commentator, he's not white. I don't know what, I don't know who he is, but he looks like a man of color. Okay. When he offered his pushback and he offered his uh, analysis on why Pierce is acting this way towards Megan, Pierce walked off. Okay, now after that happened, it wasn't too long after that, I think it was like the day later, on a show called The Talk, I think this was called, if you've ever seen it, you would agree with me, it's the Dollar General version of The View. Okay, now, so there is a woman on there named Sharon Osborne. now she's being called Karen Osborne because the way she acted towards her, one of our co-hosts, who is a black woman, when she asked her about how she feels towards her friend, Pierce Morgan, because she defended him on Twitter. Karen Osborne did. Sharon Osborne. This is a picture of her. I'm just calling her Karen by the way she acted. Now, the way she talked to her co uh her co-host, Cheryl, was absolutely disgusting. No excuses for that at all. Who many people think is a racist, so that makes me a racist. And for me, at sixty-eight years of age, to have to turn around and say, I ain't racist. What's well, it going to do with me? I'm well, okay, how can I be racist about anybody? How can I be racist about anybody or anything in my life? How can I? Well, 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 I well what? We will be right well, back. What? We have more topics, so don't go away. And I think we no, should no. stop this. I will ask you again, Cheryl. Yes. I've been asking you during the break. Right. I'm asking you again. And don't try and cry, because if anyone should be crying, it should be me. This is the situation. Yes. You tell me where you have heard him say, educate me. Tell me when you have heard him say racist things. E educate me. Tell me. It, it is not the exact words of racism. It's the implication and the reaction to it to not want to address that because she is a black less than what it is that's what makes it racist but but right now I'm talking to a woman who I believe is my friend and I don't want anybody here to to with her being Karen Osborne she played the victim she played the white victimhood card she used her white woman tears to weaponize it against Cheryl who she contends to see uh, she continued to cuss at. She gunned for this woman really hard and it was very disrespectful. Now, after that happened, after that whole bullshit ass episode happened, the next day, it was so awkward to watch. I watched the clips of it and of course, one of their, um, one of the women, I don't know any of their names. She was like a, a blonde lady. She seems like, kind of like, you know, nice and sweet, but really she has that vibe about it. You know, that vibe. Okay, she did preface by starting the episode with saying that sometimes we get heated. 
but we're a family on this show. We're a family. Do you notice how a lot of network shows do that when every time some bullshit happens and they get to arguing and fussing and fighting and all that type of stuff? They like to say, we disagree because we're family. That's how families do. Families argue, but we love and respect each other, baby. What happened with Karen and Cheryl was not was not family-like, was not love, was not respect. That was very unprofessional and disgusting. It really did show how Karen, a.k.a. formerly known as Sharon Osborne, really feels uh, towards, like, you know, black people in that sense of she didn't even have the nerve enough to respect someone who is her co-worker. That was absolutely disgusting. And matter of fact, I have to mention this, too. If Cheryl had have came at Sharon, rightfully so, like, and raised her voice at her, Cheryl would have been fired. Okay, but now, how it is now, now there's an investigation going on. Said article by USA Today would be read as followed. The talk will be going on a short hiatus as CBS conducts an internal review into the controversial exchange on the show last week. During Wednesday's episode, host Sharon Osborne, aka Karen Osborne, heatedly defended her friend Pierce Morgan for controversial comments about the Duchess Meghan and defended herself against claims that support of Morgan could be construed as racist. The article goes on to say, following the segment, CBS told USA Today in a statement that the episode under internal review, noting that the network is committed to fostering diversity, inclusivity, and respect in the workplace. I find that hard to believe considering the fact what you just saw with that video clip and what you've been saying a lot of times, I find that very hard to believe. But back to me. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to call you Karen from now on. Actually, not sorry. This was absolutely disgusting, unacceptable. And I hope that that show just gets yanked up off the air. Because for one thing, like I said before, it's a watered down version of The View. Everybody knows that. And plus to have Sharon on there kind of like fucking up the game for everybody. It would never be a good show. And let's be honest, as long as that show is on, they're always going to have Sharon on it. So I'd rather them just yank the fucking show off and that's it and have uh, Cheryl some work somewhere else because no one should have to deal with that type of disrespect. Guys, I'm going to end it here. As always, I'm Artifacts96 and I have nothing to lose but everything to gain. Bye.